Hey all, Russ here on Rear TV. Welcome. Guess where we're at? Take a guess. <laughs> you got it. Route 66. We're just outside of Legman, Arizona. I'm heading up to the White Mountains for Memorial Day weekend. So I thought I'd make a cool little stop here in this old historic town. And it's a fun one. There's all kinds of stuff to see. So what do you say? Let's do it. Good old Route 66. You know, this stretch of Arizona, you can go clear from Topak, which is down along Colorado River, all the way up to here on all old highway. Oh, look at the signs off to the right. The Burma Shave signs. There is a historic as old Route 66 itself. But this is uh, part of the old original highway, still being used. Most of the original highway now uh, is, falls under county jurisdictions through the states for maintenance and all that. There's Seligman Airport on the left. Okay, we're almost up into town. There's a few towns along Route 66 that have really gone and made themselves part of the original old culture. Seligman's one, Holbrook, Winslow, you know, those type towns. Kingman's one, Oatman for sure. But wait till you see downtown here. It is just all decked out with all kinds of cool old shops signage eateries just a fun stop so i thought it'd be a fun thing to do on our way up uh up in the mountains well i'll park here then we'll walk around the old part of downtown's farther on we'll, we'll see that in just a few Quite a few of the old motels all refurbished here. It's amazing how many folks just in a car travel Route 66 the whole way, clear from Chicago all the way to Santa Monica. Lessons of wildlife. But look at this place, Roadkill Cafe. That is cool. Another uh, restaurant across the street, but this roadkill. Uh, just the name, huh? <laughs> got the buzzard up on the sign. They got the OK Saloon here, too. We got beautiful clear skies, but it is windy. My goodness, it's uh, blowing here. All the way up the, the hill this morning driving. Okay, out back they got like a little western town thing. Little buildings. Here's their roadkill sign. <laughs> Got the OK Saloon. Oh, look at that. That sign says, you kill it, we grill it. <laughs> oh, boy. Doesn't that whet your appetite, huh? <laughs> then there's a little fun little stop here. Good for selfies. 1860 Arizona T Territorial Jail. And 
They have locked you up right in here, huh? Well, all these towns up here date back into the 1800s. Williams up the road, Ash Fork, Seligman here. There you go. They haul you around town in that thing, huh? Then like a little western themed uh, buildings there. Cool. Good for selfies. And they got some old farm equipment and stuff out here. Oh, look at the old tow truck. Seen its day, huh? Yeah. Back in the 50s, probably. 50s, 60s, maybe. Uh. And there's a the mechanic shop. Still going in the old buildings. All the gas stations are at this end of town. We're just a stone throw from I-40. Probably about two miles. Okay, well. There's a couple really cool looking murals back behind this other restaurant. Boy, those trucks just fit right under there, don't they? Old abandoned gas station. Tour buses come up here by the oh dozens. There well, there goes one, huh? <laughs> Good timing. On the way up probably to Grand Canyon, they probably stop here. More old vehicles. Boy, you can sure smell the cooking inside those restaurants. It smells like bacon. Oh, cool. That's from that movie, that Cars movie, huh? Now, that's a work of art. Do a painting that big. Pretty good. Well, let's head on downtown. Everything's old here. Old homes, trees. Right up here. I'm going to find a place to park, then we'll just walk both sides of the street. We'll do a big loop. Like their little community park here. It's right in the middle of town. Beal. Wagon Road. Wow. Way back in the 1800s. Kind of hard to read. When they originally built roads up here. That goes way back. Way before Route 66. Or Route 66. I always get in trouble. So I don't say Route 66. There's another tour bus. Bunch of happy travelers. Cool looking mural. But see how Seligman really uh, dowels up the town? Everything, and I mean everything's Route 66. A lot of detail in this. You can really look at a lot of these building storefronts. And they've spent some time and effort and money. A few years ago, I stuck a sticker on that thing. I don't think it's there anymore. 
Pretty cool. Motor Porium. <laughs> well, we'll check out some of the old cars. About an old uh, yellow one. <laughs> Tires are flat, but it's painted yellow. All right, everybody, back to the bus. About a purple car. Selfies everywhere. Millions of pictures get taken up here. They're trying to get everyone back on that bus. Hurry up. They're probably heading to the Grand Canyon. A lot of them come out of either Southern California or Vegas. There's an old timer. Huh. Tow truck. Looks like an old soda fountain place, huh? Now it's coffee, espresso, copper stopper car. Got the single cherry on top. See, this is just fun. Absolutely fun. Half an airplane in the building. <laughs> Coffee spelled with a K. Memorial Day weekend already, huh? Heading up to the mountains. Gonna go see my buddy Hobotech. He has a YouTube channel. I was up there last Memorial Day too. Cool looking old car, huh? Everything's for sale. Hey, you want a trailer? With a sunset view? There it is. Cool. Okay, what else we got? More old cars, old truck. A lot of this stuff is for sale. Look at the eyeballs on it. <laughs> Whirly birds for, what, ears? Another selfie place. That's a pretty cool sign. I wouldn't mind having that. Yellow VW. More motels. These places get packed. Like I was saying earlier, a lot of people travel just in a car. People on motorcycles. They do the whole distance. From all over the world. They come travel these routes. Well, you see alone the tour buses, man. We got 50, 60 people on a bus. Most of these have been restored. You look at them online, that's uh, got really good reviews. And here's the world famous Black Cat Salute. Not open yet. World famous says so right there. On Route 66, Route 66, in downtown Seligman, Arizona. Oh yeah, there's some houses back here. We got to go find them. There you go, U.S. Marshal Office. He's standing right out front. 
old time homes. Isn't that cool? Ligman Grocery Store, still open. It's kind of one block off. You don't notice them over here as much. In more old buildings, the old brick style buildings, that's all back from the 30s, 40s, 50s. Can't really tell that Mural's gone. There's the old flag. Someone will redo it someday. Hey, there's that white van across the street. Another motel up here. Hopefully they can keep filling these uh, buildings and create more business here. You know, it snows here. You're high in elevation. You'll get snow and cold and ice. They get winter here. Canyon Lodge with theme rooms. Pretty cool. Look at the front. We'll walk past them on the other side. They got mannequins out front. Right here at the Roadrunner. Route 66 Roadrunner. Get you a hot dog, hamburger, coffee, plus a gift shop. There you go, you got John Wayne, Elvis, and Marilyn Monroe, and Betty Boop. <laughs> cool sign, that Seligman sign. And just a lot of stuff. Anything and everything souvenirs right here at the Roadrunner. Gallery must be art studio. Think that's just the house, huh? People probably go up and knock on the door. What do you got? <laughs> and here's the old car dealer, huh? Mechanic shop, something. B&B &B Automotive. And one more motel down this end. You know, was it Holbrook that got the teepees? Uh, all the hotel rooms are teepees. And then this place across the street, this hamburger shop, ice cream. It's been here forever. I think it's actually got a historic sign for the Route 66 attraction. They got a bunch of old cars in the back. Yeah. Ice cream cone, burger. There you go. Poor old cars. Man, that wind is just screaming through here right now. Park at your own risk. <laughs> Look how green everything is, though. Arizona is green and blooming this year. What a spring. Yeah. 
in the good old phone booth. Put your nickel dimes quarters in there. Now they're obsolete. It's history. <laughs> phone booths are history. There you go. Another place to get a selfie. Oh, here's that sign. Roadside attraction. Yep. It's official. Part of the Route 66. Official roadside attractions. Make our way back up to the van. But isn't this a cool stop? I mean, if you ever get a chance, this is one of the better towns. They really go all out. Not only for the Route 66, the old 50s theme. Plus, you got all the old motels. You can spend the night here. Look at that, the Goodyear tire sign. Map on the wall. All the plates. Even the good old barber shop. Well, pretty cool, huh? Oh, here's another motel. The Deluxe Inn, huh? In downtown Seligman. Historic landmark. Pretty cool. You can get 140 channels on your TV. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, there's the bus. That's where all the mother all them people down there were from. I kept looking for the bus. Return to the fifties. Be kinda cool to look back at the original days, huh? Got a traffic light here. Oh, the rusty bolt. There's the mannequins. They look real, huh? <laughs> you can got them on the roof. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at this sign. Now that's a sign, huh? That is huge. Pretty cool. Glad I stopped. I'm glad I came up this way. Just fun. Fun drive, fun visit. No sense driving the interstates when you do back roads and small towns. This is definitely a small town. Hey, how about an Etzel? When's the last time you've seen one of those things, huh? Okay, well, cool visit. Gonna continue on up Route 66, Route 66. 
Yeah, I'm gonna head up to the White Mountains, the northeast part of Arizona. Very pretty place, about up at a six, seven thousand foot level. Gonna stop and see my buddy Hobo Tech. We're gonna film a little bit around uh, Payson. Drive through uh, Camp Verde. Be going through there. Who knows what we'll get into. We'll figure it out. Go to the right here. This is part of the old road right here. For the original Route 66. I hope everyone has a safe and happy Memorial Day weekend. Journey continues. Talk soon.